yo yo hey hey what's popping y'all we are back in the back building in the building listen i'm your boy pastor J, and i'm your girl lady free and we are shift real talk tuesdays here on real talk tv yo we have a fire ball topic. yes first yes. of all First of all, first before we get started, y'all, we just want to say, listen, please like, share, and not only that, subscribe. We want you guys to subscribe to the channel. Subscribe. We got a nation out there, man, and we need y'all to subscribe to the channel. Right. Subscribe. YouTube. Come on, y'all. We need y'all to support us. You know what I'm saying? Support the cause and support the mission. The mission is to build family to build people yeah. to build people through the influence of building relationships in the kingdom in the kingdom but that's not what i was saying i know i just had to say that okay let I me say talking that about our guests okay okay so you want to say it or you want me to you go ahead okay so listen we had a guest that was supposed to be on on here today he was going to talk about family dynamic but I guess it's so busy. I, he's 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 a not only an artist, he's a bishop. Yeah. Not only a bishop, he designs clothes. Then he's a husband. Then he's yeah. a father. Yeah. So he's wearing a lot of hats. Yeah, and so and he called me a few minutes ago and said, "Man, I'm on my way back from Albany. I'm not gonna make it back in time. Right. So which is cool. We'll bring him back on in, in another week or so. Um, you know, we'll get with him and get with his time so that we can yeah. really talk about the family dynamics because we kind of want to get into that. But today, we're not going to get in the family dynamics. You know, eh, it's cool. It's cool. This is Shift Real Talk. We are always ready. I was a little disappointed because he is phenomenal, and I knew this show yeah, was going to be Yeah, and we had it. him on before, yeah. and, and, and they were talking about, you know, how the, the marriage failed. Yeah. You know, they, they went through a great struggle, and from that struggle, God allowed him to to write a whole album to to bring him back his marriage right. and it was it was a phenomenal and we were going to talk about yeah. that but that's okay but it's okay it's okay it's okay God does every all things work together for that's the good right. of them that love the Lord and that's are right. called according to his So we are going purpose. in a different direction So today. we're going in, in a whole another today, way Today um Elsa and Ash how are you tonight um listen so we're going in a different direction tonight we're going to talk about how to be true to yourself. My wife did ask me, uh, did you hear this? <laughs> no, I'm oh, my bad. My bad. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. So listen, y'all. Listen. So listen, we want to talk about tonight being, how do you be true to yourself? Yeah. Because really, um, it's truly about understanding who you are so that you could freely operate in situations and in relationships you have to, before you can become one with anybody else, yeah. you have to know who you are. You have to understand who you are and what we cannot do as, as individuals is, and, and th before I even say what we can't do, but just realizing this, um, our memories and our experiences as children, they shape our character as adults. Come on. So understanding that there are certain memories that we remember that when we were young, when we were younger. And I tell people this all the time. It's not about, especially as a child, it is not about what you do for me. It's what you do with me. With me. It's what you do with me. And right. I remember, my son remembers everything that I've done with him. Right. He don't never remember what I've done for him. Because I bought, a, bought him a pair of sneakers that day and then he don't remember them sneakers the, the, the next day. But if I, the, the, every memory that I've created with right. him as a child, he remembers it Absolutely. to this day. And guess what? He is operating in those memories. Right. Be because I took him down a sports lane. You know, I, I introduced him to sports as a young man. And every memory that he remembered, it shaped his character to being a great sports player today. Right. And that's how a lot of these sons and, you know, fathers who play professional sports, how their sons now are great professional sports players because of those memories that were created. Yeah, and the lessons that they learn that will shape how they deal with different situations in life. 
And um, mom provoking. Hey, baby, how are What's you? What's up? My baby's on vacation and she got on. Girl, you made girl, you made my day. She, she the out there in Aruba somewhere. She the best. <laughs> so listen, okay. So how to be true to yourself? We it was a question that was posed today. What's important? What's most important in marriage? Is it being faithful to your spouse or being true to yourself? The whole point. I think it's not just for marriage for us because we're, we're trying to talk about the family. It's in dating. It's, it's, it's period. What's most important? Being faithful to that person that you're with or being true to yourself. What you think, babe? I think, I think um, when it comes to relationships, um, you, ha you have to be true to yourself. But I, I think that you have to kind of like intertwine both of them. Because you have to be true to yourself because you have to be your true self. In order for the relationship. In to order work. for you to be faithful in the relationship. Because That's good. If, yeah. That's good, yeah. Yeah. The only for you to, to be faithful, you have to be true to yourself. Right. Because if you don't know who you are, you won't be faithful. And you'll be searching. Yeah, because you'll be introducing somebody who's don't even who's false. To falsehood. Yeah, yeah, you'll be introducing to somebody, you know, um, I, I don't know who I am, so I expect you to know, love or, or get to know somebody who I don't even know. Yeah. No, that's that's not, that's no not how you I do that. I can expect that's you to you love me if yes. I have not even figured out yes. who I am. So, um. You in Los Cabos, Mexico. Girl, are you on a cruise? <laughs> so, so listen, the thing that's is. That's what's up, girl. When it comes, and, and I, I love that answer because you do have to be true to yourself in order for you to be faithful in a relationship. So that takes me to the, the point of before you decide to get married or before you decide to get in a very serious relationship, you have to make sure that you are true to yourself so that this will not be a question that comes up in the marriage. Should I be faithful to him or should I be true to myself? Or should I yes. be faithful to her, vice versa? Yes, got you. So how are we going to run this today? So so listen, so I got a couple of questions. I want, And those of you who are online who are watching us in TV land, I got a couple of questions that I want to ask. And I want y'all to be, I want y'all to give me y'all opinion on these questions that right. I have. That, because we're talking about being true to yourself. Got to be true. And, and, and being true to yourself is knowing who you are. So the first question I want to ask is, what is it that you have to do to get what you want? What is it that you have to do? Yeah. What do you feel that you need to do to get the things that you, you want? That? Where from, I, got, I got this from. Now, this is, a, this is a relationship true to yourself game. That So I got, I'm getting these questions from here, and I'm just asking for it. Yeah. So the first question that I have is, what do I, so make this personal. Okay. What do I have to do as an individual trying to be true to myself? What do I have to do to get what I want? And, 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 and I hope what you want is happiness, but, you know, but, but what? Okay. I'm just using so, it as it. So what do you have to do? To hey, get Crystal, how are you? Lisa Dabney, what's, I mean, Lisa Dab, what's up, baby? So the thing is, um, what do I have to do to be true? If I have to make it personal, I have to know what, okay, so wait, I'm sorry, say it again. What do I, we're making it personal, okay. but I want y'all to I answer it. it as is I asking the question. Right. What do I have to do to get what I want? In order for me to get what I want, I have to first know what I want. So what do I do? I have to get to know what it is that I want. Because if I don't know what I want, then I won't know what to do to get it. Mm -hmm. Mind Perfoca said, not to go after what you want. Go after what you need. <laughs> I like that. So if you go after what you need, then more than likely you'll well, get Lisa, what you want. Yeah, if you go, well. Even but, if you don't know it's what you want at But what if you don't know what, because a lot of times, what a lot of times we, 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 tend to go after what we desire and what so a lot of times what we desire is not what we need, but it's still what we want. You know what I'm saying? Because ice cream is not good for me. Right. It ain't good for me at all. But a lot of times I want ice cream. Right. But I know it ain't good for me. But the thing is I have to fulfill what's in what, you know, that, that, that craving that I have inside, you know, we got, we have cravings. So I believe before to get what you want, you have to fulfill those desires you have to, in other words, wait, okay. Yeah. Help me break it down. Yeah. Yeah. Me. I'm going, I'm going, I'm going to break it down. You have to be a, a whole person. You have to be complete. And, okay. and to, so you have to come to get what you want. You have to complete those empty voids in yourself. So you don't crave for the things that you want. How do you do that? You become that 
complete person, meaning you get to know who you are. You get to understand, you know what I'm saying? The, you, you get to know your char- how your character was shaped, who you are as an individual, not just by your memories, but who you are today. You know what I'm saying? And who you can become even greater. So you got to be the best you that you can be to be able to understand that because I'm who I am, I, what I want is going to oh, gonna supersede or, 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 or kind of meet up with the things that I desire. You know what I'm saying? Or what I need. You understand what I'm saying? No, not yet. Not yet. I'm trying to get there. You're trying to get there? Yeah. Come down straight street. Come down straight street. I'm explaining it. Okay. You got to be a whole person. Okay. This whole person is who you are or who you're going to become. Not through your, your behaviors, not through your, 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 your thoughts, but this person who has kind of dealt with those things that, that kind of hindered you, you know what I'm saying? Okay. I think I got it. So, so because if you're a person that, that really comes in like, okay, let me use an example. Cause I, I, I'm better with examples. Okay. So if, if say for instance, I mean, you got into a relationship, right? Mm-hmm. I wanted this relationship because I, and because I wanted it, I wanted it because I felt like it was going to fulfill, it was going to fulfill what I was lacking in. Okay. So, but the thing is, I don't need to, for, for you to fulfill what I'm lacking in because I, I, I need to be fulfilled already. You know what I'm saying? I need to be, I need to be that complete person, even though I, I just, and I just found this out yesterday. Okay. I even know that there is the person that kind of completes you. So you don't know, no matter how complete Balances that you, you yeah, yeah, you, you still have that person that completes you. So where, where I, where I am weak at. You know what I'm saying? You kind of complete those places where I'm weak and the same right. thing, vice versa. Right. But the thing is, I still had to be that complete person for me to even understand that I, I'm able to fit, fit into a place where I can be balanced. So in other words, you're basically saying that you have to sit with yourself, figure yes. out what those things are about you and your character that you need to stand firm on. You need to know yes. your boundaries. You need to understand your, um, your, um, per, the, the parameters of how, who you're going to let in, yes. who you're not going to let in based on what you're learning about yourself. You Got to be careful who you get connected to, because yes. sometimes when you get connected to the wrong person, they'll suck the life out of you or distort the whole person that you're trying to become. So you have to sit with yourself. You have to sit with your past. Yes. You have to think about the things that you went through when you were young. And actually, through the through the, the mindset and the eyes of an adult, you have to come to grips with those things that you went through in your past. Yes. Some things that scared you in your past that caused you to be fearful and anxious when you're an adult. When you pay attention as an adult and look back on those things, you realize it's not so scary. And these are some things I was scared of when I was yes. little. So you got to get to know you. So, so hey, Lisa, Lisa said you must determine what's for you and what's not, f- and what's good to you and what's not good to you. That's right. Hey, Crystal. Yeah. Crystal. Yeah. We did announce that our guest for tonight will be, we had to reschedule our guests for the night. So we just, you know, we, we, we improv in the night, but God, you know, that's what we do at shift real talk. Mama Pearly is on. Hey, mama Pearly. We love you. We Hello. love you. Mama Pearl. We um, love you. My Crystal. dad is on the line. Pop Jesse. Crystal said, you have to know where you where you want to be as a person and you see what you're lacking, then what you are lacking should be, your should focus. be your focus, self-evaluation. Exactly. Okay. So I got you, Crystal. Yes, Basically, exactly. Crystal saying you got to, you have to know where you're lacking. Yes. And once you know where you're lacking, you focus on that. That's right. That's right. And when right. you focus on where you're lacking, then you could become a whole person. Cause now you know what you need. Yes. And you go after that. Just, I love just a, that. Just a disclaimer, man. I want y'all to know, Crystal Spearman is 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 a is she's she has her own production company and she's actually this is the uh the label that uh Bishop is signed to who we were interviewing tonight and uh also a label that I will be going to we're, we're gonna be uh talking about my project coming out soon but Crystal she's awesome her entertainment company is the bomb so you know we looking for artists I'm sure Crystal don't mind me saying that but she's looking for artists. Just a little disclaimer. I wanted to throw yeah, that out go there. On so yeah, go on Facebook her Facebook page. Follow her. Follow her. Check her out. Support y'all. her. Because support that's her. what we do here because, at Shift because Real what, Talk TV. Because to be honest with you, man, she, you know, there's some labels and there's some people who are not really, they, they, they have a motive. 
And 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 I and mm-hmm. we was talking about this last week, especially leaders. Leaders carry out their own motive, and they Sometimes. expect you, and they expect you to be to fit into what they're trying to do. But one thing I say, say about Crystal, she's doing what God has ordained her to do. So it's not her motive; it's her it's her purpose. Come so on. she's fulfilling purpose through her company. And I promise you, man, she got some great artists on there already. And she's fulfilling purpose because God placed this and laid it in her lap, lap to do so. I'm so, so proud follow of her. Crystal Monk Pier yes. Men. Yes, we love she's her. She's online. We love follow her. her. Can I pick her. a card? Yeah, pick one. Okay, pick one. Let's so, see. so 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 yeah yeah yeah. Come come on. He didn't want to do random. He he wanted to pick them out first. But I I, I like since I'm picking one. I'm a, I like to, to oh, mix them up. Sh- hey, come on, come on. Let me do it. Let me do it. Let me mix them up a little come, bit. Come on, you got to go with it. All right, baby. All right, why are you looking? Let me ask you this question. Okay. What's the one thing that you know you need to confront? The one thing about yourself that you know you need to confront. Ooh. That's something I got to think Come on, about. y'all. Y'all think about that. Okay, one thing that about m- yourself that you know you need to confront. Oh, that's that's a good one. Because sometimes you don't really know what you need to confront until it comes in front of you. Ooh, a come front. <laughs> right, so you really don't know what it is. Because you. a lot of times we think we're fine. Until there's something that comes up that we realize, wow, I didn't even realize that was a thing in me. Yes, I know one thing I have to, I have to, one thing I have to confront. And like I said, I'm, I'm in a, I'm, I'm in, in school right now. And, and this class is teaching me a, a lot, not just about learning how to be a counselor, not learning how to mm-hmm. deal with marriage and family stuff, but it's teaching me a lot about myself because I'm actually learning about me in this class right. because I'm seeing a lot of behaviors that I, that I didn't know I ran from. So I know one thing that I have to confront um, is just is being more optimistic. You know, saying wow, yeah, okay. I, I have to be because I was I'm a person that when I see something, that's it. That that's just what it is. And cause if somebody like the other day I was in a conversation with somebody and they was telling me, um, man, there's a guy that's asking for help. And what's wrong with him that he's asking for all of this help? And, you know, he's a young man. And I had to hustle and do what I got to do. So why he's not hustling and do it? And the the old Jesse was was not optimistic about the guy's situation because I would have thought like the guy I was talking to. You know, like yeah, right. this dude young and like me. Days. Like, what's wrong? Man, I ain't helping him out. What the Yeah, he's an able body young man. Yeah, able body young yeah. man. Ain't nothing wrong with him. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So that I'm that is really has been my downfall because it would really hold me back from helping people that I really probably could help if I was a little more optimistic and, and, you know, and, and, um, compassionate to situations that I had to learn how to get out of. And certain right. people probably don't even know how to give, to get out of certain situations. And sometimes God will send people your way just to see what, how you're going to respond to help. Exactly. Them. All right, so um, my provoking says that one thing that she has, she hey, Maritza. she says she needs to confront detachment. You got to elaborate on that a little bit, Marissa Jackson. She says I heard you sing in service the other day. You sound amazing. Ah, oh. are you watched her? Thanks, go ahead, girl. Wow, Dude, hold on, Maritza's on here, an awesome playwright. Yo, Sis, for real, we could not make it to that to to I'm bullied, right? We could not make it. Coming from Houston, them tickets was crazy. But I promise you, we're going to do something and we're going to connect some type of way. Marissa Jackson, please, y'all. I, I don't know if you recorded it and, and got it of videoing or if you video. I don't know how you're doing that. But listen, I don't know how you're going to put it on YouTube or something. But we got to figure out a way to uh, put it on YouTube. Marissa Jackson. Please, y'all check that Follow play out. Too. Follow Maritza yeah. Jackson because she is an awesome playwright. And, and here's it. another one that is doing what the kingdom building. Purpose. And, and purpose. Kingdom purpose. Because that's what it is. It's not about carrying a vision. It's about building kingdom about through our influences. And this is what she's doing, man. And, and God is connecting us with a lot of people that's doing. Barry, yeah, my, my boy Barry, you know, he, he was one of the stars on the show, man. Please, Marilyn is next. Please let us know, Marissa. We want to be there. We want to be there. She said, Marilyn is next. Marilyn is next. Ho- hopefully, we can work out get you, getting you out here in Houston because God knows. You know All what I'm right, saying? We'll work so, that out. But anyway. 
so um, he giving all the shout outs now. So I guess um, yeah. as people come on, we'll, we'll continue to, to help the Shift Real Talk family yes. know who to follow. Because when you follow good people and you connect with good people, Listen, then you get good while stuff. While I got y'all on, please do me a favor. I'm going, I got to stop one more time. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel, y'all. I need you, everybody that's on here to subscribe to the YouTube channel. Shift Real Talk TV. Shift Real Talk TV. Y'all see the S. Y'all see it on there. I need y'all to subscribe, y'all. Please. All right. Please. So Mama Pearly said one thing that she has to confront is patience. Wow. Um, mind provoking said detachment. I want you to explain that to us, uh, uh, daughter. I call her my daughter because I feel like she's my daughter. Yeah. I'm so close to her. I, yeah, I asked her explain that detachment. Um, why do you feel like you have to confront detachment, Mama Pearly? That's for you too. Give us an example of why you feel like you have to um confront patience. These are some things that that maybe somebody else who's watching can get a little help from because people going through they they stuff and. When we get on here and talk, we help one man, another. Man, I know Marissa, prop man, because her whole whole life story, she put it on the stage, and and man, I'm I'm sure it was powerful. So you know, like I said, we all have things that you know we we really have to learn to confront, so yeah. that we can truly be true to ourselves. Aunt Liza's on the line. We was looking for you. Okay, so mind provoking said it's easy for me to detach due to others' deficits. That were made that were masked dishonestly. I'm sorry, dishonesty. She says when given the opportunity to be unmasked, vulnerable. So let me read that again. It's easy for me to detach due to others' deficits that were masked. So when people are dishonest with her, she detached easy when they have the opportunity to be vulnerable and they don't. So because, okay. See what what that is so that mind provoking that is so dope because. What what it, what 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 where we were in our lives? Now we have to really understand. Certain people are not sometimes where we are, so it's it's hard to 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 really see a person who has a problem with being open, because everybody is not everybody is not happy about what they're hiding. And it's a reason why they're hiding this right. stuff because they really don't want you looking at them different. You know what I'm saying? Because it, I and it, I had that because I had that problem. I had to be. I was a. I was messed up in the inside, and I didn't want her to see it. But she seen it because it came out of my anger when I when it when it was time for me to face it. Because at at the end of the day, we're gonna face these things that that gonna we're gonna it. face it. You're gonna have to come clean with it. You're gonna have to come clean with whatever it is, and you're gonna have to deal with it head on. You know what I'm saying? And, but understanding this, though, when we are in, in the midst of the fire, like Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, they had to deal with being in this fire, but they weren't in it alone. You know what I'm saying? So when we understand that the issue that we that we come across, the the the, our, the way our behaviors were shaped, you know, these things happen to us for a reason. You know what I'm saying? We weren't in this alone. You know what I'm saying? I'm, a lot of us been in abusive relationships, whether it was our parents, whether it was uh, relationships we got into, whether it was with our kids. You know, so a lot of us been in abuse, verbally, physically, mentally, because here's a, those three, three things are certain places that we need to be complete in, physically, emotionally, spiritually, physically. We got to be complete in these things. So when we go through certain situations, they shape these emotions that we that we don't deal with that we have not dealt with because what happens is abuses uh, has set in so what we do is now we we don't face it we run from it because we don't want to have to deal with the pain that we feel that caused us you know when we went through those situations but at the end of the day those situations came to really actually show us what it looks like Show us, okay, this is something that I may have to face. So now I have to really come to grips with it. Like, okay, this can happen. But how now at the older person of me or the who person who I am today, how do I confront it? I don't confront it like I was when I was little. I confront it now from a place of maturity. Wisdom. From a, from a grown up place because every day, every day we gain more knowledge. Every day we gain more insight. Every day we gain more strength. We gain more knowledge. And as we gain these things, now it, it allows us and gives us the information that we need to go back to face those things that we didn't have the information to deal with when we first came across it. 
Okay, that was a lot. All right, I'm sorry. I got you. No, I'm you're sorry. good. Um, hey, Darren, and welcome back. Darren, my guy. Okay, so um, mind provoking. She says it's a trigger because they wasted my time. Got you. If a person needs to heal and work on them, why attach to me and drain me got when you. they were not in a place to handle someone who is ready and in place? The thing, the thing about that's it the is, whole point. Okay. The thing about it is we're talking about being true to yourself. It This takes intention. You have to be intentional to be true to yourself. And and you said it triggers you because they wasted your time. Why attach to you and suck the life out of you? But what if they didn't know that that's what, that's what was going on? Because, see, the thing is, I live with me. I was raised up as me. I know me, and I'm used to me. So because of that, I think I'm okay. But then someone else might come along, and when that person comes along, it starts to help me be, I guess, exposed in a way. In ways I didn't even realize that I had issues. I may realize, wow, I didn't know I did this, or things of that nature. So sometimes we have to give a little grace, and we have to take that time to slow down and get to know that person better. So then we won't hold them responsible for sucking the life out of us or draining us, but we'll hold ourselves responsible for not taking the time to get to know that person first before they attached to us in that way. And and also, and two also. So a lot of times, um, mind provoking, a lot of times there are things that are placed in us to really help people. And, you know, and, you know, and that, that's one thing. That's why I said the thing that I had to deal with and confront was my, my compassion and my, you know, being optimistic about certain things. Because when I felt somebody was draining me, that's what I thought it was. You draining me like, boom. but, and it feels I, but way. really if they draining me, I had to think about that. Maybe that's the place that I'm in because a lot of times you, you will show me that, okay, because you need help, then that shapes where our relationship is going, but it don't shape my help for you. It shapes the, my relationship with you. Meaning like I can't be in a relationship with somebody that I feel like that that's draining me, but I'm going to be there. Now, now this is not marriage because marriage, you know, we got to have, we, we really got to have that, that for better or for worse, for richer, for, for poorer and sickness and in health until death do us part. But people that we're relating with and in relationship with friendships, mm -hmm. stuff like that, you know, saying there's a reason why God placed us in their life. Right. You know what I'm saying? Because again, there's certain things that's inside of us that God placed inside of us to help them through the time in their time of need. So, you know, we could have been, you know, put in a situation to help people and, we draining, you know, they be being drained. So it's not for us to be drained. Okay. Um, we're going to say, um, my provokings, um, and, and mom, um, aunt Liza, and then we're going to go to the next question. Yeah. Um, I she like says that. to add on auntie, most people have patterns yet play victim while making another the victim. And, um, aunt Liza says, but when they know, so the thing, you you right, a lot of people do play the victim. That's why I say slow down. Take time to, like, let the relationship simmer. Like good meat make its own gravy. You got to be that, that be like that. Slow down, allow some things to come up off the the, the relationship and, and see whether or not it's good. See whether or not, see whether it's good or not, my bad. And... You that person can't take from you something you don't give. If they taking they wasting your time, then it's time that you gave them to waste. If that person is is a victim, right? We know what victim or victor look like because it's either one or the other. Either you're a victim or you're a victor. You know when someone's coming as a victim. So at that point, you have to take responsibility too to the fact that you allowed that victim to come into your space. And sometimes it's something in us, like Pastor JJ said, that we feel like we want to fix people. We, we might have that complex. And, the, and victims are drawn to us. And that's something in us and, that we need to to kind of yes, like get healed exactly. from. And th that's some things in us. Like maybe when you were younger, you just always wanted to help somebody. You you felt like somebody, you always needed somebody to help you, be there for you. And, you know, it could be a plethora of different things. But at the you, end of the day. And you know something too, uh, mind provoking. Sometimes um, 
you know, people need counseling. So at that point now, you just send them your website and <laughs> and your bill. <laughs> no, okay, I'm just joking. I'm just joking. I'm just joking. But 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 real all jokes aside, as, as counselors, you know this mind provoking. As counselors, now, and they and, and I and I say it's counseling, but it's, it's ministry. Period. A lot of times, what we try to do is sow seed to people. And we sow the seed and expecting people to listen to the seed that we've given them. But sometimes people are not in the position to receive the seed that you're giving to them. Why? Because the ground that they're in is damaged. It has not been plowed. It baby. has not been plowed. That ground is hard. So we, before we plant seeds, we got to strip the, 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 we're gonna have to we dig. gotta strip we gotta dig we gotta deep. dig deep we gotta dig deep we gotta un break gotta up that un ground we gotta break up some things and unmask some things before we can even start sowing seeds because you have to sow the seed on good ground it ain't got nothing to do with money and it seed has is your words yes so so you got to be able to sow good seed into a good ground not damaged ground so before, so that's why, so when they say that the victim, we know, okay, that, that soil is not good. So before I say something, cause now you do have the choice now. Okay. I can't deal with this or, you know, and then, you know, that they teach this in, in counseling, you know, wrap them with services or, or, or you refer them to somebody who can deal with their okay. situation. And in the event that you're not a counselor, just being a friend or just being a regular person, you have to understand too, that if somebody comes as a victim, if you really, they friend, or if you really care about them, then maybe just, maybe you can get a little, you know, dig a little deeper, break up some of that ground yes. and find out why they are victim. And then, we can't leave out because one thing about shift real talk, we talk to real people in real relationships with real issues, give them real solutions based out of the word of God. So the thing that, that happens is we can't leave out the fact that if God has allowed you to see that in that person, yes. then he's trusting that what you see, you're going to know what to do with it. So what he is asking you to do with it is bring it to me. Cast your cares on me. So if you care about that person, it doesn't mean you have to be with that person. It could just be a friend. If you care about that person, then you go on behalf of that person to God and say, okay, God, this is what they just gave me. This is what I just saw. Can you help them? Because they, I know it's hard to go through that. I, they, 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 are, they are victim for a reason. And some people have been a victim so long that they feel like it works for them. And they're going to hold on to that because that's what they know to do. And you could be the person to help them, not even by putting out, doing a whole bunch of extra stuff, just simply by hearing them, seeing it for what it is and taking it to God. My Aunt Liza said, we have to start comforting the person, start comforting the person and stop giving them excuses. It's not our responsibility to carry the weight of others trauma. Yeah. You don't it, have, right. you know, yeah, you don't care. But first of all, God is not, God has not made us weight carriers. That that's God's weight. That's God's weight. So so what we have to do as individuals is take the, understand. See the purpose of why God allows us to see the traumas of people is because now we know how to take those traumas and give them to the one who can who can give fix them. the traumas. Right. But see what we do is in the midst of comforting, we then try what, to fix it. We try to fix it ourselves. Yeah. And we try to and that and then we're tricked by it because now we're carrying the trauma. We're carrying the weight and then and then not knowing what to do. So the thing is, it, it is our responsibility to make sure that we're there praying for that person, that we're there giving them an encouraging word. You know what I'm saying? Life like she said. Life and death is in the tongue. Yeah, it's, it's right here, the words you speak. Either you're going to breathe life into that person or you're going to breathe death into that person. Yes. But regardless of what, if you don't want to really connect in a, in a serious relationship with that person, then you just have to take your time and really understand who you're dealing with because you have to be careful who you yeah. attach yourself to. There is not one person in this world today, especially with the generations that's being raised up now, that is not dealing or carrying some real tricky situations in their bag. Mama Pearlie said you have to cultivate the soil. That's you have right. To. You got to cultivate the soil and don't turn back. You gotta we got to Ashley on the line. Jada Thornton is on the line. Um, Y'all, we talking about how to be true to yourself. So we have this. Um, well, hold on, wait a minute. Let me let's deal with um, what Aunt Liza said. She said uh -huh. they, may, they may be a victim, but they are also making you a victim of their circumstances. 
Mm, well, wow. yeah. Yeah. How do you? Okay, I need you to explain that a little more, Aunt Liza, because because I sometimes get, I get what she's saying. I, I, I get think. what you're saying because sometimes we can feel like that. But but I but I but I want us to understand. Sometimes when people are really trying to get you to understand what they're going through, you know, um, it's it's the cry. It's because so, how people cry out for help. It may, it may look like they're playing victim, but sometimes we may not see it as a cry. So that's why that that's what I'm learning and me being optimistic. We got to look at people through God's eyes and we got to carry that. We got to carry that characteristic. So we have to see that. OK, I'm not going to you know, I'm not going to be the victim of what you're going through, but I'm going to understand what you're going through yeah. and understand that I'm here to help you. Now get because the thing is we gotta change their thoughts. So how do we change their thought? You we, said I'm here to now help you do what? I'm here I'm here to help you not continue to think that okay. you're a victim. Because so a man thinketh, so is he. So we gotta change the thoughts. You know, and like I said, a lot of times no, not a lot of times, but this is what God does. He places us in front of people. Because he, you know, he puts us there for a reason and he allows us to see their faults, their insecurities or whatever they're struggling with for a reason. So it's our job to see the need of the people yeah. so that we know what to take to God. Because sometimes some people don't know how to get to God because they're so bottled up with the trauma that they've gone to, what they've gone through. They don't know how to go to God. So God puts us there. Or they don't want to because they just done. I don't even feel like praying. I don't I've even been feel in like, situations yeah, yeah. like that in my life where things was just coming at me so much. And I was at one point feeling like a victim of my Got circumstances. You. So I understand what Eliza said. You could be a part of somebody's life. And then that, because they care about you, they'll take on your stuff. And then you, they end up being a victim. But the thing that I just, um, I would like to address is she says they, are also making you a victim. No one, in my opinion, can make you be a victim of their circumstances. You choose to by maybe who you are, how you care, and all that stuff. So you have to be But careful. let's be real. Let, let's be real. I don't I don't believe nobody makes you be a, a, a victim of their circumstances, but I believe people try to make you hear. Because the hearing is where is where 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 the problem comes in at, because if you don't hear what I'm saying, or if you don't hear what I'm trying to express to you, then it can look like I'm trying to put what I'm going through on you because you're not, you're not in the, in the place to hear what I'm trying, what I'm crying out for. And Liza say, but if both are crying, then who can hear? And we understand that, hmm. it, but who That's can hear? Question. You're right. That we need to come back and do it. That's a topic. Who can, how do we deal with this? How do we deal with when both, when both of us are crying for help? Yeah. How do we hear when both of us are crying for help? Um, Darren says some self-blinded. Some are blinded. Some self-blinded. Self, self, I, I get that. Self-inflicted wounds. Okay. So, um, Tanisha, we talking about What's up, how to be true to yourself. Before you get into a relationship, you need to know this. If you're already in a marriage, it's not too late for you to be true to yourself because we grow all the time. We're constantly growing and constantly being better. And if that person is with you in that marriage and they see that you're trying to be true to yourself, even if they say you change. Well, yeah, because at this point I realized I was never true to myself and now I want to be. So but, but I let's want go you back. to help me with that. Let's, let's go back because I, I want, I really don't, I want to kind of deal with what she's saying when two people are crying. Okay. When two people are crying, that means, that means nobody, because at some point somebody has to hear God. Somebody has to hear God because if I can't hear you, at least I can hear God because that's really, that, that has been what my, my soul is even dealing with situations with me and my wife. Now, a lot of times we, there were situations that came up where we couldn't talk. We were talking at each other. But mm -hmm. the point was the only way that I can get to hear her is now I have to invite God into the conversation. Okay, God. Okay. Listen, she has, she's not listening to me. And if, if she screams on top of me one more time, I may say something, God, that I'm probably going to regret later. And, but I, and I don't want to get to that point where I'm going to regret what I say. So I need you to open my heart so that I can hear what she's right. saying. Right. And the thing of what happens when I go to God, she comes to me with what I just went to God about. So if, if I know I can't hear her, then somebody had to say, okay, I'm me and you can't talk, but me and you can talk so that me and you can talk. 
So we have to go, we have to invite God into the conversation because when, when we don't do that, I promise you, we're going to be crying at each other. We're going to be screaming at each other. <coughs> Excuse me. We're going to be yelling at each other and ain't nobody hearing nothing. And, 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 and I promise you that if, when you piling that stuff on, on under the rug and sweeping it under the rug, it, it, it comes out. That trash comes out built up, built up trash. Don't smell good. And it don't look good. So we got to, you know, and sometimes when people are hurting and you're so used to seeing them in the pain because they have never been healed from past hurts, you you may say not and not you in anybody in particular. But sometimes we as people say you need to stop crying. You ain't no victim. But maybe that person is not trying to come off as a victim. Yeah. More so, they just, like Aunt Pearlie said, it's a cry for help. It's a cry for help. It's a cry I for help. I need you. I need you to hear me. That what, cause, cause what, that's, what, that's what a conflict is. You don't hear my heart. And what do people mostly argue about? You're not hearing my true they heart. They argue opinions. You, we're arguing what opinions. I'm, feeling, what I'm, I'm forcing thinking, my yeah. will on you so that you can hear. So when I'm getting frustrated, what I do is I try to over talk her because I want her to just, just hear my heart. Just hear what I got to say, yeah. please. But I promise you, when you, when you, and, and there's, there's certain words that we can say to make people really come out of not trying to force you to hear what I'm saying. You know, and it's something like, you know what, babe, I hear you. And you know, if you, you know what, babe, I understand what you're saying. If you've been in a situation so long that you have become numb to the the needs of the uh, of hearing someone else's cry, or if you've been in a situation so long where you're, it's almost like you already have a set narrative about that person when they behave in that way, then it may mean for you at this point, God could be saying, I'm trying to help you understand how to change your mentality yes. about people who are in this situation. Yes, yes. Because it's a lot of damage that happens in homes growing up. It's a lot of damage that happens when you're in your twenties. It's a lot of damage that happens when you first start dating and you getting it wrong and somebody hurts your heart. It's a lot of damage that we deal with daily. It's a lot of damage that each person that's watching this podcast is dealing with right now. But we have to know and understand that if somebody is, is, has a victim mentality, then that person has been hurt. Somewhere, and although you may not be able to touch the place of he to to heal them in that way, then there's a God. And with this podcast is not for just people who always want to rebuttal. But yeah, but if that don't work for me, this podcast is for people who say, you know what, I want to change my mentality. I want better in my relationship. I want to do something different. This is not just us talking. This is us saying there is a God who says, I got you. I, I'm the one that will help change that. I'm the changing agent. I'm the one that, that understands their heart better than anybody. So when you bring it to me, I'll download something into your thoughts to help you say something that you don't even realize you're saying that'll unlock that place in their heart and cause that person to say, wow, nobody's mm -hmm. never seen me this way. Nobody's never took the time to, to, to care about me like that. But if we keep trying to do it ourselves, I don't care how intelligent you are. I don't care how many counseling courses you take. I don't care how much you read books on top of books. If God does not share that person's heart with you, you can't do anything but get frustrated because you're trying to fix something. God says, I got the answer. All you got to do is ask me. Because well, if you want wisdom, I said, I'll give it to you and it's free. Well, 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 well the first thing is first. And even in counseling, like I said, you know, God, God is raising me up. I got a counselor online, my, my, my daughter niece. She's a counselor. I'm in school right now for my master's in counseling. And one thing they tell you, even in being a counselor that you're learning, the first person that you, before you can even help somebody Come else, on. before you can help anybody else, yeah. you first have to know who you are. So to know who you are, then you know your capabilities to, to be able to, Listen, you know your capabilities to be able to hear, to be able to understand, to be able to um obsess, to assess, assess to be able to um to to interview. The, I mean, but so the thing is, you have to be in the position yourself to be able to help somebody else. So what are you saying? What am I? What I'm saying is to to really get to understand somebody, you first have to be understand understanding yourself. yourself. 
Because you'll never understand, and, and you, you'll never understand what damage that you can cause not being true to yourself. Because you'll be too busy <laughs> looking at other people's <clears throat> mess, being judgmental or critical. And not looking at, wow, you know what, I feel you because I went through some something similar and I know how hard it was for me to come out of that. So, I, you know what, instead of me looking at you now in judgment yeah. or looking at you now saying, I'm so sick of this, then I'm looking let, at you now through the eyes of, wow, let, okay, I got deal, you. Let's deal with that. And um, I'm, I'm, Pearly, I'm Pearly and Darren, we're going to meet with y'all Thursday. So, let y'all make uh, time Pearly. for I mean, I, I mean, I'm Liza. Sorry, we're gonna meet with y'all Mama Thursday. Pearl, she done. He done. Yeah, I'm sorry. I don't put you in. Okay, so thank you. So, so Darren, Darren said, when trying to be heard, you're not always making yourself clear. That da Darren, the reason why you may not be making yourself clear is because of your character, how it was shaped when you were younger, and a lot of times because if we if we've never had the voice to speak. And when we were mm -hmm. younger, it could express, it could shape how we express ourselves at a later date. Wow, that's so, good. So, so you really have to really allow God to really, and, and get the information. That's why God placed you in my life. God placed us in each other's life for a reason. So that, we, you know, we can practice talking and you can get it out to me. I, I'm, I'm here to listen. So, you, you know, we're, we're going to talk later. But again, it's just practicing wow. being able to talk. And, and, and see, here's the thing. Conversation is conversation in a safe place. So if you got somewhere safe to lay your conversation, then it becomes easy. It is only hard when you don't have that safe place when to you lay your safety. When, yeah. when you don't have safety. Because yeah. if you feel like you're going to be attacked, it's going to remind you of that characteristic that you picked up, that memory that you picked up when you were little. Oh, so it's going to only trigger right. that. And then what it'll do is it'll cause you to shut down Put and cause you to, up. and it caused you like yep. Eliza said is to hide in your turtle shell yep. because you were triggered by a, a non safe place. Yeah. Too real. What's up? We miss Too you. Too real. Girl. girl, we see you next week. Okay, so um, we have a few more minutes um, left so we can talk about a di uh, the next question. And that question is, how do I know when I'm on the wrong path? Woo! Okay, just to, just to just let you know, those who came in, there, we had a guest that was supposed to come on today, um, but he, he, he kind of like... He couldn't make he, it. He, yeah, he couldn't make it. His schedules was... So we're going to bring him on a different we're um, bring week. him on a different day. You know, so this week... Next week, we, you know, two we're real We're coming off so the we, cuff today. So we're coming off the cuff. So anyway, go back to that question. And and the, the topic is how to be true... Um, true to, how to be... True to yourself. True to yourself. Read that question because that was so a good one. So one thing that you, it says, how do you know when... when How do I know when I'm on the wrong path? You have to know that in order to be true to yourself. You at the crossroads. Y'all want to answer that? Y'all want to answer that? Okay, so let me give you the visual. You at the crossroads. You have two That's ways right. that you can go. You go that way. How do you know if you're on the right path or the wrong path? So this question is, how do I know if I'm on the wrong path? You know, I say you know you're on the wrong path when you're moving and it don't look like you're going nowhere. You're walking. You're just walking in, in place. It's like you're walking on a treadmill mm -hmm. and, you, and you're not going nowhere. But if you was on the right path, I believe there would be movement. There would be growth. There would be you getting somewhere because, you know, mm, okay. you know, yeah, because God's roadmap, no matter what, it's going to lead you somewhere. So when you're in the right path, you're, you're moving. But if you're on the wrong path, I just believe you're moving but in place. You're moving right, in place. All right, so I have, I have two good comments. We got one from Ashley Jones and one from Too Real. Okay, so Ashley says, how do I know when I'm on the wrong path? That's true. When God isn't included in it. Come on. If he is, even if you're on the wrong path, he will correct it. No worries. Come on, Ashley. I love that. That's my sister. I love that. Too Real, it was something up here. It seemed like it went away. I can't I can't find two reels anymore. Okay. So the thing is that's true. If you if 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 you on the right path, then you will see some blessings that that's because I feel like God has all of our blessings set up for us. And like she said, even if you're on the wrong path, God will correct it so you still win. That's right. So you still win. It, 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 
She, yeah, you just really just kind of like you just, you just you just drop the mic, boom, there you go. Cause that's so true. Cause even if you go, cause you know how it is when you're on the GPS and you and you made the wrong turn or you missed your turn, all it does is even though you're going wrong the wrong way, it just redirects Redirected. you to just go go this way and you get back on the right path. Yeah, so it directs it directs you no matter what, wrong or right or wrong. You're right. You're so right. When you put God, because guess what? That's the scripture. It says, in all thy ways, acknowledge him, and he will, he will direct, direct that thy thing, path. Baby. He will direct okay, that path. Okay, so Darren says, you keep traveling, but you keep having pitfalls. Yes, wow. Yes. That's how you know. When you keep having pitfalls. Now, the thing about pitfalls is sometimes people think that when things, when you getting tested, having tested in life and, and you got, you got little issues that you got to, God says, everybody have to carry their cross. He says, take up your cross and follow me. So it doesn't mean that your path is going to be smooth all the time. But at the same time though, you won't feel like that you're constantly going down. You're constantly yes. falling down. You're constantly hurting yourself. You constantly, the pitfalls, you, you, it's like you can't never get up. You can't yeah. never come yes. up. That's when you know you're on the wrong path. But when you're on the right path, God says, I'll set you up. He says, if you um, lift me up, I'll draw men unto you. I'll bring the right people into your life. I'll bring the right situations your way so you can win when you're yes. on the right path. Yes. But you got to listen. Yes. So, 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 um. Man, well, I got one too before because that was dope. Oh, that's all we gonna do for my question when we spend all that time on your question. Oh, good. Go ahead. I'm sorry. I'm, look, 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 look. <laughs> I'll play it. I'll play it. Okay, wait. Um, um, Two Real says blessings and good people surround you. There is no such thing as a negative path. Each new day uh, allows us to correct ourselves, getting back on God's alignment. You're on God's alignment. He automatically corrects your path. And then Ashley says, I think God creates pitfalls as well. Come on now. She says, how can I praise him for the mountain when I've never that's seen Ashley. the pit? Yeah, oh, I said yeah. Ashley Jones. Uh huh. Sometimes that's what it takes to show me where he's taking me. Come on. See, it sounds like you've been in Bible study. Come Ashley. on, y'all better preach. <laughs> Aunt Liza says, God's not going to lead you a wrong path. That's, That's right. right. So when you follow in him, he said he'll direct your path. So when you at that crossroads, you just go in the direction that yeah, you go we are, in and we God on, got you. We are on live, and I know I shouldn't be saying this on live, but I'm going to say this. Aunt Liza, we want to meet with you guys Thursday, okay? So y'all make time for us. I don't care what time it is. Y'all make time for us Thursday. But anyway, I want to do this real quick. I want to do this real quick. Listen, y'all, I want y'all to go on our YouTube page. It is Shift Real Talk. TV. TV on YouTube. What I'm doing is I'm giving away a 50-inch TV. What? I'm giving away a 50-inch TV. I'm giving it away. Giving it away. We didn't consult. I'm giving it this. away. I'm giving it away. <laughs> I feel but I'm giving it away to subscriber number 500. So I need, I, yeah, I'm giving it away to subscriber number 500. So I need y'all to go and subscribe on, or to subscribe. I need y'all to subscribe to the YouTube channel. And I'm giving away a 50 inch TV, a 50 inch flat screen Samsung TV to the subscriber, subscriber number 50, 500. I still supposed to be um, blessing Mama Pearly for sharing. As a matter of fact, I'm going to do it right now. Mama Pearly, send me your um, cash app. Yeah, yeah. I'm going to do it right now. So I won't forget. So we, I can bless Mama Pearly because Mama Pearly is consistently sharing <laughs> this channel. Sis, look at lost. You, uh, you already know. You already know, sis. <laughs> what happened, Ashley? She says she, you about to be in the pit, Jesse. <laughs> oh, I, yeah, I didn't I, tell her. I didn't tell her, but it's okay. It's okay. okay. We doing All it for right. the kingdom. We doing, we doing it as God leads kingdom. you. Yes. All right, on Liza. Cool. That's right. To real says, Mama, when she sent it to you, send the blessing to me. <laughs> That's right. Come on, man. We, man, listen, y'all. Listen, y'all. We love Too real. I'm telling y'all, she is a part of us, and we love her. I prom promise you, we she love that young lady. She's a fireball. She we fits in perfectly. Her. She fits in with That's us. That's my sister perfectly. from another Mister. We love her. You know, what I'm saying I want her to meet my sister in the ATL, uh, um, Ashley, my sister Ashley Jones. 
You know what I'm saying? I want her, I want them to. We you know we got stuff that we gonna do, man. So listen, cool. the whole point about getting to know your true self, being true to yourself, y'all. This is very important because there's so many things just trying to carry us all which ways in this world. Um, the Bible says a double-minded <clears throat> man is unstable. That's what my word teaches me in all his ways. So when you see somebody that's Too unstable. Man. They think, you know, in two different directions. They can't never make up their mind. They 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 overhear one minute and then the next minute they are totally somewhere else. It, it totally look like a, and, and people say, oh, they bipolar. But that's, that might be naturally. But spiritually, the Lord says it's, that person is simply double minded and they're unstable. They, they don't have no footing. Seem like they driven uh, any time the wind blow one way, a trend happened over here. They over here. Then yeah. culture shift you over there. You over there. You never stay in that position and know who you are enough to say, nah, I feel you and I understand where you at with it. But for me, this is where I'm standing. This is where I am. I'm standing firm on so, this. So let this me, is me. Let's, let's leave on this question. Y'all let's go to, cause I want to ask this. What is the one thing that I can do to improve my relationships? Ooh, one thing I can, what do is the improve? one thing that I can do to improve my relationships. Okay. Uh, can I answer that? Yes. Say no. More often. Okay. Yeah. We got to bring two real to the table. Baby, you didn't I'm hear sorry. nothing. I just said. You said say no. Say no more often. I have a hard time saying no to my husband. And when I know that things should be done differently. And this is me being transparent. Y'all know every shift, real talk, Tuesday, I got to say one thing at least transparent. I have a, a hard time saying no. When I know that the Lord is saying, mm-mm, that's not, that's not it. I'll sit there and say, you know what, babe? Okay. And that's not helping him. And that's not helping us. Because when things fall flat behind that, me not saying no, then... I feel like, man, if I had just spoken up or if I had just said what I feel like I should have said, then we wouldn't be going through this. But instead, you know, and, and I'm not saying say no, like, you know, negatively, mm -hmm. but there's some things that I should be saying, even if I just sow to see whether he does it or not. Sometimes I just don't do it because I just be, hmm, I have a problem just saying, babe, no. That's not that's not the direction we should go in on. Mm -mm, that's not what we should do. But I feel like that that's something I need to do better. Liza said, "Trust God's plan." And my dad said, "Get closer to God." Come on. Liza said, "That's disobedience to the spirit." You're right, Aunt Liza. Yes, yes. And and every time I'm disobedient to the spirit, because I'm supposed to be His help me. If nothing else, be obedient to what I know the spirit is leading me to do. But instead. I, I, I'm growing in that area. And God had to show that to me like, wow, you have a problem when I tell you certain things to at least just relay the message mm -hmm. to him. You have a problem doing that. And, and I'm, I've learned, I'm, God is dealing with me on Darren that. Darren says, stand firm on decision, on your decision making. On your decision. Come on, Darren. Yeah. That's real. Yes. That, and that's just being a man. Yeah, that's real. I, yeah, I think I got to do that better too. Yeah. Stand firm because... I get wavered with my decisions. Right. And mm -hmm. I, I got to stand firm. When I say it, it is, I got to stand firm on it. Right. So I, I got that struggle as well. You wouldn't believe how many men have that struggle, though. And it's so easy to look at that type of person and, and dog them out or, or judge them negatively. But it's so many men out here who make decisions and then change their mind and then because they they trying to and, and usually you usually see that in a man that's trying to get it right, trying to hear what God have to say and do what he say. Because when you <clears> ain't <throat> trying to do what God say, you doing your own thing. You don't have a problem with your decisions. You say what you say. And, that's and, and that. I think it really comes from from fear because of, because a lot of times it's what we don't know. Right. So when we make decisions, we making decisions on what we don't know. Yeah. So the fear of how it's going to turn out makes us Make waver you retract. yeah right. it makes us waver in the decision yeah so the thing is we got to stand firm on god that's why it's so important to to be able to make those decisions we got to be 
Um, but it, well, we were talking, but this is why, see, it came full circle because again, when you got, when you were consulting God and you got God, yeah. you, no matter if you make the wrong decision, he's still going to lead you there on the no right path. path. So on. there is, yeah, he's still going to lead me. you. Yeah. He's going to lead you right. on the right path. So again, you, it's getting closer to God. That's right. So no matter whatever decision we make, he's going to be in it. Even when we make the wrong decisions. So, and, and it's a help us to being able to just keep making decisions and, and God, making decisions. God said he take the foolish things to confound the wise. Yeah. That means <clears throat> you think that you's doing something foolish or, or wrong. And God says, no, I'm, I allowed you to do that because I'm going to use that to to show you something and to help somebody else. Yeah. So either way, make the decision and trust God that the decision that you made, he going to use it to do something great with it. That's right. He's going to use it. But listen, y'all, man, we enjoying this weather out here. It is 71 degrees out here in the city of Houston, Texas. Man, I'm going about to take my baby girl. We're getting ready to go do some married stuff. Um, I love you guys. Our time is up. Um, man, our time is up. We're going to, we got two real back here with us next week with another dope hot topic. Um, and we'll get with Pastor uh, Butler, B Bishop Butler on, on, on coming back. The week after that, so um, you know, we we got some things rolling, man. We get, we getting it going, and also, y'all, we one thing we'll never do is uh, we'll never ever forget to give God the glory for allowing us yeah. this opportunity to be able to share what He's placed inside of us. That's right. Because I, we don't do this for for money. We don't do it for a form of fashion or for fame. We don't even do it for fame. Yeah. We do it because God has placed it inside of us, and we're excited to give you information that he's given give us. Give it back. And then one thing we want to do also is we want to give these guys here that That's help make it possible yeah. every Tuesday, man. Sacred these guys out here, Sacred Stone Studios, Stone Studios, here in the heart of the city of Houston. Emancipation, And when baby, I tell you, these brothers, these brothers are, are awesome, man. If you in the city, man, and you need to come do your podcast, your church sermon, if you need to record some stuff, whatever, if you need yeah. some stuff filmed, man, these guys are awesome, man. Look them up, Sacred Stone Studios at gmail.com. Look them up, look them up, and, and, and continue to like and share, y'all. Like and share. Man, we yeah. love y'all guys. We love y'all. We love y'all. We thank y'all for, for rocking with us this long. Yeah. Man, we thank y'all. We've been rocking for and about two and listen. a half years, y'all. And and this is this is what I would I, I just came up with this thought. I would love to see Shift Real Talk family, the the Shift Real Talk Nation, so into Sacred Stone Studios. If you just fill it in your I mean, these people these brothers are doing the it's a black owned organization. Yeah, they're black. They owned, are man. professional. And they're they and go they're married, above man. and beyond yes, to give yeah. you more than your money's worth. So if you just fill it in your well, shit. Well, well, don't, 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 that's our blessing. You, if, <laughs> if you fill it in your don't. heart, your <laughs> shanana, whatever it is, go on to Sacred Stone Studio, follow them. They awesome. And and so into this, because this really is a ministry as well. I don't know if they call it that, but I know that that's what they do for us. So, so into Sacred Stone Studios, Sacred Stone Media, because well, it's it, going to be so into us into and we'll give it to them. You know what I'm saying? No, mm -hmm. baby. Let's just cut out the middle man. Stop playing with me. <laughs> <laughs> sacred stones so into good ground because God is doing amazing things and you'll be able to say that you were one of the ones that helped God do what yeah, he's going to do we want, them to, we want them to get us a All right. auditorium man where they can do plays and stuff so we believe in God we believe in God for an expansion for God to expand their territory where they're out, where they're able to get a whole rehearsal studio. If they could put their um their information up, put their cash app up on here, um that would be great. So into Sacred Stone Studios, y'all, because you will be doing uh yes. So you'll listen, be doing something amazing. So listen, y'all. Um, we uh, thank y'all again. Um, we thank God for people again. We thank y'all for rocking with us, man. You know the our faithful. Real Talk Nation, man. Yeah. We love you guys. I promise you, man. We love y'all guys from the bottom of our hearts. All right. From the our, bottom of that's our time, people. And that's our time, man. So until next Tuesday, same bad channel, same bad place. Peace. Peace. Thanks for watching. Yeah.